Hello, today I want to show you how to work with a rotary, a double or a single slope unit, but how to set your slope. So in this case, we're going to use the gauge art as you see on this picture, and we're going to send it three centimeters up to have exactly three percentage of slope. What do we have to do? We're going to stand one meter away from the rotary. We're going to use the detector on the zero position. We're gonna move the detector to three centimeters on the gray yard. And then we're gonna move the axis to the three centimeters. When it's at three centimeters, we stop, we reposition the detector back to zero and we exactly have three percentage of slope. Here you can see how much it's gonna be on one meter. It's gonna be 0.03 percentage exactly on 100 meters three percentage really useful this this thing now i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to use a millimeter detector of fat max it's much faster so right now i'm using the dewalt rotary this is the dce uh, 79 uh, wet beam and as you see there are two green lights that means it is on automatically uh, and it's in tilt modus to take it out of tilt modus at first select one and twice so i'm pressing on this button now it's on the uh, manually mode and you can see which axis so it's in the i axis and to know which axis you're working on you have to look at the body and the i axis is this one i1 i2 x1 x2 so I'm gonna want to. I want to use the I1, but to, if you want to use the X1, you just press this button, and it jumps to the X axis. I'm gonna use the I. The I means I can turn it this way. How to turn? It's with the arrows. That's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you quite easily, but now I'm gonna use the Fatmax detector. Uh, this detector is from Fatmax. Uh, but the thing with this detector is it's working faster and yeah, I, mean, I love this unit so I use this unit. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna position myself a little. Okay, so we should have zero, that's correct. And now I'm gonna use these arrows to move the detector. So as you see, it's moving. It's, a, it's not handy with one hand. Okay, there we go. You can see it all, yeah. My camera turned off, sorry. So, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 mil. Thirty. So now you see it's three, three centimeters from the zero position. Now I have exactly set uh, with the detector down. In this case, three percentage. Normally you should take the, the detector and move it to three, and after it you put it back. But now I have a millimeter detector. This is much easier and working faster. So. What I've just done, you can see it as well on the diode above, it moves to the left, so that means the line goes this, and if you see it on the billboard behind, the line is exactly moved to this way. Right now I've used my I-axis, in case you wanna have uh, a double slope, you just press the X-axis, sorry, the X-axis, and then you're gonna move with these arrows again, and what's the thing of it right now the water is flowing for example this way but if you want to have the water flowing to this corner then you use the double slope it's also for inside really nice to work with kind of ceilings or uh, big bedrooms really nice uh, future to have a double slope unit if you don't have a double slope unit i give you some tricks it's going to be also useful um, but yeah, if you're working inside, it's not useful because you cannot use this inside. I, I'm gonna tell you why. 
what I mean double slope or in single. Right now it's a double slope unit, but I'm gonna use it as single one. Single slope, and I'm working outside, and I have to mark a, a square flooring. Camera always shut down, I don't know why. So, what do I gonna do? I'm gonna move my rotary and put it on the corner. Right now I have a double slope, one manually and one digital with the setting of the rotary. The line is going this corner. So it's the way how you position your rotary. Why I say this is not useful for inside? Well, you cannot put your rotary so in the corner. I mean, it's not easy to do uh, for ceilings or whatever you want to do with a double slope inside. So, but it's a trick if you're gonna use a 7.9 or sorry, a 7.4 Thunderbolt, you can use this uh, trick. For the rest, the settings that I just showed you, like this, it's useful. All the brands are working the same. So this is what you see over here. One percentage is gonna be one centimeter. And that means on 100 meter exactly one percent. If you're going up to 200 meters, it's gonna be a little bit more. And then you see it's jumping double. So it's logic, but not everybody knows. So that's why I got this video for you guys. I hope it's useful. If there are still questions, just let me know and I will make it for you. Thank you.